It's news time. Information is power. Be current. The news headline. Shocking. Bandits have no food to feed kidnapped victims, releasing them without collecting ransom. Zamfara government. The deputy chairman of Zamfara State Committee on Finding a Lasting Solution to Armed Banditry, Dr. Abdullahi Shinkafi, says that bandits no longer are full to feed their kidnapped victims and are releasing them freely without collecting any ransom. Shinkafi stated this during an interview where he noted that um, on Saturday in Gusau, the Zamfara State's capital, while commending the efforts of the state's government aimed at curbing banditry in northwestern states. Shinkafi said there are some people who were kidnapped, 11 of them. They were actually released and one told them uh, to bring 200,000 naira each before they started to negotiate. They demanded for 20 million per person. When the relatives of the victims refused to send the money, then the bandits were left with no option than to release them. They said that they don't have food to feed them, that some people, uh, some of them have actually started uh, dying in captivity. Therefore, it is yielding a lot of results and biting the bandits very hard. The sustainability of these security measures will help in downgrading the activities of bandits in Zamfara states. He also explained that due to the shutdown of telecommunication service, bandits wrote letters to the people of Shinkafi and acting Emir of Zomi using receipts of their purchased motorcycles to demand ransom for abducted victims. Shinkafi also confirmed that the task force in Zafara State has traced the address of the motorcycle company in Kano State and arrests have actually been made. And this was the deputy chairman of Zanfara Comi uh, State Committee who are actually looking for a lasting solution on armed banditry. And his name is Dr. Abdullahi Shinkafi, who is saying that the bandits seems not to have food again. And um, this is making them to release those uh, that they have captured, they are victims of a um, kidnap. Uh, they are releasing them so far they do not have food to feed them, saying that their strategy is uh, similarly working because telecommunications has actually been shut down in Zamfara State and these people are not able to communicate with the relatives of those that they have kidnapped. Therefore, payment of uh, ransom was not easy to be made as some of these relatives were unable to afford the prices or pay them. Therefore, since some of the victims are already dying there, they decided to start releasing uh, these people and at a particular point in time because of the shutdown of telecommunication they had to be writing letters to Shinkafi uh, you know so uh, so that they can actually you know pay the ransom and at the end of the day they said that they received uh, they wrote uh, a letter to Emi Ozumi as well and the people of Shinkafi and using receipts of their motos uh, purchased motorcycles to demand for ransoms for abducted um, victims and therefore uh, the people, the company that actually sold the motorcycle to them in Kano State have actually been visited and arrested. And this was uh, in between the prelate of Methodist Church, Nigeria, MCN. His Eminence, Dr. Samuel Chuku Emeka Kanuchi, has actually urged President Muhammad Buhari to pay 25,000 era monthly stipend to bandits and repentance Boko Haram members. The prelates actually said that hunger and poverty made the northerners embrace terror and banditry, where he argued that the payment of such stipend of 25,000 naira would actually deter the youth from engaging in terrorism. Addressing newsmen in Abuja yesterday, the clergyman appealed to the, uh, he appealed to the federal government led by Buhari not to underestimate the influence of Sheikh Ahmad Gumi in the fight against banditry. He also explained that Sheikh Ahmad Gumi could actually be instrumental in helping to develop measures to tackle banditry in the northern region of the country. The prelate stated that Gumi's access to bandits in the north could be used as an advantage to beat them into submission. The Islamic scholar who is based in Kaduna had several met with the, bandi uh, the leadership of the bandits in their locations and recently Sheikh urged the governments to grant them blanket amnesty. However, the prelate of Methodist Church is of the opinion where he asks that who are those collecting ransom for bandits? 
if the government rather than criticizing Gumi engages him positively he can actually bring solution and you don't dismiss him and he is not a bad man if he goes to the bush and they the bandits have confidence in him the government can dialogue with them let me tell you these boys are being used by politicians i am telling you to quote me if you engage them and be paying them twenty-five thousand naira monthly they will not kidnap all they want is food and this is the prelate of methodist church of nigeria actually talking about the actually talking about banditry uh in this in the region saying that the federal government are uh, actually underestimating the influence of sheikh amagumi in the fight against banditry saying that uh the federal government can actually make use of sheikh gumi to develop measures in tackling banditry in the northern region of the country saying that all they just need to do is to use gumi to um the, the advantage uh, so that the bandits can actually uh, submit and also he told he actually said that these people are actually being sponsored by politicians and it should be quoted anywhere saying that um if the government can actually uh, start paying them twenty five thousand naira monthly, I mean those these bandits, then we will realize that they will stop kidnapping because all they actually want is food. And these were the words of the prelate of Methodist Church, saying that the Islamic scholar who is based in Kaduna, that is Sheikh Ahmad Gumi, so far he has a good rapport with them, and he at the particular point in time he has said that the government needs to give them blankets amnesty then the federal government needs to pay a listening ear to sheikh ahmad gumi the prelate says also cardinal based islamic cleric sheikh ahmad gumi has called on nigerians that they need to show respect and love for bandits noting that it is the secret of his own good relationship with the bandits the cleric speaking at Amadou Bello university zaria cardinal state on a wednesday said that bandits need from the society is understanding saying that as the power of human interaction uh, uh it demands that and gumi says that whenever he goes to see the bandits that he goes through the door and not through the window and saying that anyone who goes through the door will come back in safety uh, safely and the cleric explained that if the bandits are offered uh a listening here that they will stop whatever they are actually doing and when asked how uh, he has been able to go in there and come back uh, safely. The actually, uh, you know, one of the students actually asked him, and he says that whenever they get there, that what they do is that they give these people a listening ear. They allow them to talk. In fact, that they uh, that they can even talk uh, up to an hour. And what they would do is sit down there and listen to them. The cleric says that uh, when we offer them listening ear, that their resolve will be softened and they would become more amenable uh, to ab ab abandon their violent ways. And that even most of the times after their discussions that they take pictures and this is to tell you how amenable they are. Thanks for listening.